Hey guys, it's Danny. Today it is time to make yet another seller review. This time it's Class and Arcadine, which I've always wanted to order from, but I kept putting it off. Now, this is the second episode of this series. If you missed the first one, which is with Orchid Garden, check it down below. Many of you already know Orchid Garden because a ton of my orchids are coming from them. Today though, we are dealing with a new nursery. It's the first time I'm ordering from them. And I will just start with talking a little bit about them and my experience. And because I know many of you are actually not even from Europe, so probably you will never order from them. I'll put a timestamp on the screen just so you skip this part and you'll actually go directly to me unpacking the orchids. But for those of you who are actually considering ordering from them, well, they are a pretty popular nursery, I have to say. They're from the Netherlands and they do actually have quite a varied collection. It was a little hard for me to pick, I have to say. And as a personal experience, I have to say everything went absolutely great. I paid with PayPal, they have this option. As it turns out, I ordered an orchid which was advertised as in bloom and Sunday night I received an email from them saying that the orchid is not in bloom anymore. Do I want to replace it? Do I want a refund? What do I want to do with it? So I opted for send it anyway, I don't really care about the bloom. So I really appreciate that working on a Sunday night, that's pretty awesome. Then on Monday they shipped my order, today is Thursday and it's here, it took three days pretty much. Now you might say, oh my goodness, the transport is amazing. Well, with the Netherlands, actually I do have quite a good transport. Just in case you didn't know, I live in Cyprus and with some countries I do have some issues with, with long transport, but with Netherlands, I did have three day transport before with my eBay sellers. However, my eBay seller charges me 10, 13 euros, whatever, per transport. These guys charge me almost 30 euros. So I'm not gonna comment on that. Sometimes transport can actually cover for a lot of things. I am used to nurseries charging a lot of money for transport to Cyprus. And in the end, everybody decides their transport. But as far as a personal note goes, part of why people choose eBay is transport price. Maybe that's something to think about. All nurseries, not just this one, because all nurseries have pretty high prices, except for Orchid Garden somehow. Eh, what do you know? pros and cons. But other than that, the whole process was just great. I have no complaints. And another thing, I actually ordered myself frost insurance. Yes, they do have something like that on their website. It costs around four euros. And what they say there is that if it's very, very cold, they will make sure to put everything in styrofoam. If they consider it's not so cold, they will not put styrofoam. But anyway, if something arrives to you damaged due to cold, I presume, they will actually reimburse you or replace your order or something of the sorts. I purchased the insurance. So we'll see if anything is actually bad here. If it is, I'll contact them and we'll see how the insurance works. And as a final note, you know how it is. All nurseries have good reviews and bad reviews. Some of my viewers said they had great experiences with this nursery. Others said that the experience was absolutely horrible. But now let's just unbox this. This is a huge box, I have to say. So we had to change the angle a little bit. Oh, I think each orchid is actually packed in bubble wrap. And you can see this is actually a pretty big bubbled <laughs> bubble wrap. It is very efficient, like I cannot squeeze my hands together all that much. Inside we have some smaller bubble wrap. I prefer this over paper, I have to say. Although paper breathes, this breathes as well if you let it breathe. All right, oh no, this used to have a flower spike and of course it's done blooming, it's okay. So the first orchid that I bought, it's a hybrid. I wish I had buds on this orchid, but that's okay. It's an Encyclia cochleatum or cochleata cross with Anachillum septrum. I might butcher the name, you're gonna have the name on the screen anyway, and a picture of the orchid. And the orchid itself is slightly damp, but not very wet, which is okay. Another reason why I actually prefer plastic than paper Paper sucks water. And not only that, it actually is prone to molding. Cellulose is prone to attracting mold in certain conditions. So I actually do prefer something like this to paper all around because there's a difference between having moisture at the base of the pseudobulb or around the root system and moisture on the leaves. This is the part we wanna protect. So I'm really happy with this one. At the end of the video, I will unpack everything and give you a closer look, but this one looks great. I'm a little sad that it doesn't have buds, but it's okay. It wasn't advertised as blooming or anything. Next up, 
I just love this bubble wrap. Okay, this one doesn't look great, I have to say. We're gonna figure out why. This is, oh no, I really wanted this one. This is Barkeria spectabilis crossed with Epidendrum um, Criniferum. Again, I might butcher the name. Alrighty, what's wrong with this one? I think that overall she's okay. I have a flower spike here. There are only a few leaves that have gone bad. So looking at it actually, there are only this two leaves that have gone bad. Everything else is actually pretty firm and I do have a tinge of red, which is normal. Tinges of red can happen due to bright light, but also due to lower temperatures. So, okay, kind of freaked out, but I don't think the situation is as bad. So it would appear this growth is more affected than all the others, um, but I don't think it is as bad as I thought it was. So thank goodness. I will have to unpack it and I'll decide at the end if I'm gonna write to them, if I'm gonna get a replacement or whatever. It doesn't look all that bad, but sometimes cold damage can take a little bit to show. So yeah, I'm gonna play it safe, I think. But overall, it certainly doesn't look as bad as I thought it did. I thought all of these leaves were damaged as well, but they're not, they're firm and nice. They're just a little red. Let's move on. Oh my goodness, did I order something this big? I don't even remember what I ordered at this point. Why don't I remember? And you cannot really see what I'm seeing. <laughs> there it is. This is a cross between an arachnis and I think Ascocentrum, I'm not sure. So it's a vendacious type called Jitima, I think big. Now I wasn't sure if the big referred to the age of the orchid, that's why I purchased the big. They had a tinier one I think as well. Um, and indeed, it's rather big and it does not look bad, but I wasn't really expecting it to be potted. It's okay, uh, nothing wrong with that. We're gonna unpack more later. Oh, this has blooms, or used to have, but I think the fragrance is still there. Hold on. All right, you guys will probably not guess, or maybe you will guess what this is. <laughs> This is a Zygopetalum Barbell Han Hybrid cross with Paradis something. You have the name on the screen. And it used to have flowers. So yeah, apparently the Zygopetalums were supposed to be in bloom, but it's okay. I don't care about the blooms right now. What I do care about is getting it right with the Zygopetalums. For a year and a half now, I'm waiting for a Zygopetalum to appear somewhere for me to purchase. And it didn't appear, um, but yeah, now it did. So. Stay tuned for another try with the Zygopetalums. We're gonna go the terrestrial route with these guys because obviously semi-hydro like uh, things like these don't really work with the Zygopetalums. The only time that I actually had success with them was when I didn't actually get them out of their terrestrial mix. So we shall actually try again with them. I hope this is fragrant. I do detect a sort of fragrance, but I'm not entirely sure if it's one of those spicy ones or the ones that smell like hyacinths or something. They do have really beautiful fragrances, but it depends on variety. So yeah, we're gonna take a better look at him in the end. Oh my goodness. Now these orchids will be a surprise for me as well, you guys. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna unpack him a little later. This is another Zycopetalum, something with rain. I'm just going to unpack him at the end of the video, actually. I'm gonna get this box out of the way so I can put everybody on the table and see what's what, but oh my goodness, he looks amazing. And you really cannot see how big this guy is. Hold on, hold on. And the last orchid, which you have to believe me when I say that I haven't the faintest idea what it could be. Um, oh, I remember now, I remember now. Oh my, she's big. Now this one, if it has flowers or buds, I will be extremely happy and I'll tell you why. This is a Maxillaria tenifolia. Now, some of you might say, but Danny, you already had a Maxillaria from Roger, remember? Yes, I do still have that one. The problem is that one doesn't really smell like coconut at all to me. And I thought, well, okay, maybe it's me. I just don't detect the coconut. But then I heard Roger say in one of his videos that that orchid never actually smelled like coconuts for him either. So it got me thinking, hmm, 
what if that one is not a pure tenofolia? What if it's the other one that looks like tenofolia, but it's not? Or what if it's a variety that simply doesn't smell like coconuts? I have to know. And this is one of the orchids that I've always dreamed of having. I ordered it from Malaysia, didn't work out so well anyway. So I had to order it again. And let me tell you, it looks different. Um, yeah, it's different. Maybe it's a different variety. So yeah, it looks very good. But now let's just get rid of this and put everybody on the table. Alrighty then, so this is the entirety of my order. And with every unboxing, my greenhouse just looks like it was raided by a horde of wild chicken. But anyway, it's worth it. So final thoughts, I'm pretty okay with what I got. I mean, there's nothing standing out that I didn't experience with other nurseries. I would just have to say it's a normal nursery experience for me. But I did discover that I seem to have a higher tolerance level than other people, judging by comments that I usually get whenever I unbox something like this. So there you have it. You're just gonna have to make up your own minds. What I will do though, is take a picture of this one, which has some damage. I'm not gonna ask for a refund or anything, but um, I will tell them that I did receive it like this. And sometimes the entirety of the damage can actually appear after a few days. So if in a week I will completely lose this one, at least I will have a picture of how it arrived. So maybe I can get a refund if something happens. If not, if it's just this, I am not going to ask for a refund for that. You see what type of person I am? I'm very tolerant. <laughs> So there we have it. You're gonna have the link to this website down below in the description. Let us know your experiences down below in the comment section. What did you like? What didn't you like? I had good communication and as you might know, this is what I value most, communication and willingness to solve my issue. Because orchids are perishable. It's not like we're transporting a phone or a TV. You cannot know how they will react. So with that said, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so very happy for my new orchids. I'm gonna take care of them during the weekend. I hope you guys have a great weekend. This will go up on Friday actually. So I'll see you all on Monday. Thank you for watching. You know the drill, like or dislike this video below. Subscribe to my channel for regular orchid videos, tutorials, Q and A's and other fun orchid subjects. And if you like YouTube to notify you whenever I upload a new video, just turn on notifications for my channel. And also if you're interested in my setup and everything that I use in my growth space, just expand the description. I always list everything there. And with that said, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.